Hello and welcome to Artwork Archive, the all-in-one platform for artists to manage and grow their art careers. With Artwork Archive, you can catalog your artwork, create an online portfolio, send invoices to get paid faster, and create professional reports like inventory reports, consignment sheets, and gallery labels in seconds. I'm going to show you how to get started and give a quick overview of where you can find the essential features to help you get organized with Artwork Archive. And want to point out that we also offer monthly live demos of the platform and have a library of more in-depth video tutorials. So please make sure to check those out under the Learning Center tab. So let's get started. When you log into your Artwork Archive account, you're going to get dropped into the Pieces page. This will be considered kind of your home base where you're going to upload artwork images, add information like title, medium, and dimensions, and everything else related to that artwork. Your piece view will give you an overview of all your artworks in the system, and you can select how you wish to view those in tile or list view here. You can also quickly access or find specific artworks by using the sort, filter, and search located here. The best way to get started in an artwork archive is to upload your artwork here first, and we recommend uploading four artworks so you can get the most out of the system. You can upload artworks by clicking new piece here or bulk upload them in sets of 20. We can also help you get set up by doing an import. So for those of you coming from a different system or with a very large inventory, feel free to reach out and learn more about how to use our import template as it can be a major time saver. Now that you have some work uploaded, you can easily share them, record a sale, include it in reports, and track the provenance of that artwork as it goes from exhibition to exhibition. Under Pieces, you can also keep track of your edition work, prints, create collections of your artworks by grouping them by theme, and curate private online viewing rooms to share in your network and collaborate with select clients. Locations are any place your work is showing outside of your own inventory, such as galleries, shows, places of business, storage, etc. Assigning pieces to locations allows you to track the important dates around when to pick up and drop off that artwork, as well as setting reminders of yourself through the schedule. You can also see where your artwork is across the globe and get insights into your top performing locations, so you always know which location is doing the most for your art business. The exhibitions page is where you can track and record past, present, and future exhibitions or competitions. When you add accepted works to the exhibition, those details will then be added to your artwork's exhibition history. One added benefit of this is adding your exhibition ensures you aren't submitting the same piece to multiple shows at the same time, and helps you stay on top of critical deadlines like submission and pickup dates by automatically entering them into your schedule. Schedule can be found right below exhibitions on the left-hand menu, and it's also where you can add alerts to follow-ups with clients and any other time-sensitive items. With contacts, you can build new relationships and strengthen existing ones through the fully featured CRM. That stands for Customer Relations Management. In addition to adding your client's information, you can also log past conversations, schedule follow-ups, track sales, and easily send reports in online viewing rooms. The income section is where you can find purchase requests from your online profile and where you can create, send, and track invoices and payments. You can also get a really good understanding of your art business financials by tracking income revenue like sales, teaching, or licensing, and you can get some insights into your own pricing by attaching certain expenses to specific works to get a better understanding of the full picture of your cost of production. Artwork Archive also makes it easy to save time and present your work professionally with a wide variety of easy to generate reports. Inventory reports are a great way to present to galleries and art dealers who want to see your available inventory. You can have multiple images per page and customize the information included like price, size, medium, and any notes about the artwork. With tear sheets, you can share a quick overview of your inventory with multiple informations on each sheet as well as essential information on each of the artworks. Portfolio pages are more like a catalog page with one artwork per page and you can include key information about the artwork and create a polished lookbook of your artworks to present. Consignment reports allow you to generate a checklist of works that you will be dropping off at a gallery or whoever you're consigning to. You can include terms, conditions of sales, and address how artwork should be cared for and formalize the agreement. 
You can also create a template for each frequently used report to save time selecting your preferred settings and set your branding preferences with a report header or logo. If you have an upcoming exhibition, you can also create QR code labels, artwork labels for both displaying on the wall or affixing to the artwork for easy installation, and you can let your audience know about upcoming about the upcoming show by quickly printing off address labels for all of your collectors. To get a clear picture of your sales from those exhibitions, you can then create a sales report or create an income and revenue report quickly for each quarter, year, or custom time period. So let's hop back quickly and take a look at my profile. This is where you're going to be adding your branding, contact information, and external links that will appear on your reports. This is also where you can set up your public profile that will appear on Artwork Archive's discovery platform and can be integrated into your own website, which can be a huge time saver and remove the need for double entry. Other features to note are the My Docs feature, which allows you to store all your business-related documents in one place, and the Insights feature, which gives you a visual overview of your artwork and art business insights. One other thing I wanted to mention is that Artwork Archive is available on any device, so you can keep up with your business no matter where you are. And Lastly, if you all have questions, please feel free to reach out directly either via the chat here or via email as we're always here to help. And we hope to see you at the next live onboarding and webinar and you can find more resources and video tutorials under the Learning Center tab on your account. Thanks for taking the time and happy archiving.